Hey guys, blowing up to season 10, episode 17? That's not 17. This is 17. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. You should not run like this. You should run like this. You could have done a better effort than that. Is this dude got a backpack on? Hey, you shouldn't have taken your shoes off at the front door. Thief? Oh. profiler to figure out why Meg would decide to pierce her belly button. No. Yes. Seriously? Oh. Okay, so that's why you've got this little glutton thing going on. Huh? Oh, you know. And all this time I thought it was just me making you look. Oh, no, it's, it's that too. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> You're pregnant? Oh. Hey, hugs are happening. What? <laughs> She's glowing. She's glowing. Who else knows? Uh, Hodge Morgan and now you. Ah, I'm so happy! You guys, you guys, Kate has the best news. Say it before you have to do the other stuff. Good morning, I'm pregnant. Ah! What? 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 I hate to interrupt the joy, but we really need oh. to get to Wisconsin, also known as the lovely Badger State, home of milk and cheese, heaven to me, hell to the lactose intolerant. And mosquitoes the size of an Impala, I swear on my life. Oh, good to know. Okay, right. two weeks ago, Madison PD found the body of Mary Healy. Three nights ago, they discovered Donna Rayburn, and this morning, the body of Emma Zika was discovered by a friend. They were supposed to go on a jog together. They were sexually assaulted before they were strangled. Patterns on the neck seem to be from a quarter inch rope. And the abrasion marks aren't very textured. And none of the so women are like. Madison PD found the same DNA in all three victims and associated with the incepts nine codas. That's possible. It could be part of his MO, so he's less detectable. We all know the sentencing, so I don't have to get into it, correct? If that's the case, it'd take time. He's patient. Cell phone activity shows that Emma was home for hours. Did you watch her the entire night? He really knows the victims are not. He's hit his stride and he's not going to take time to cool off. Feels up in 30. Feels up in 30. Take a shot every time he says that. Because it's every episode. Yeah. 
There is hardly anyone whose sexual life, if it were broadcast, would not fill the world at large with surprise and horror. W. Somerset Mall. Getting in and out of a house undetected is tricky. We still have a roll out of ruse. With this combo of balls and skill, it can't be his first time killing. And Garcia should search for any past high-risk victims in the area. We should see if any of the victims were in phone contact with the NSF. He also he takes up trophy. Do you know what Donna's plans were that night? Mary said she was tired and going home right after work. The person who did this See, probably none of these women look a lot she ever in a or have any Donna similarities. Donna was terrible with church events for dating. What about old boyfriends? But then how did he pick them? These two victims just don't match up. One dated around and the other one didn't at all. Okay, so what's the link that got these two targeted by the UNSA? Emma was married and had an alarm. It seems like two giant escalations. Yeah. How'd this guy get around the system? If she didn't set it. Well, if she didn't let him in, he'd only have a few mm -hmm. seconds to cut the feed. Unless he knew the code. Would she give out that information? Probably not, but um, maybe somebody else would. I mean, who else knew the code? Unless he set it up. Only me and Emma knew it. I, I changed the code every 90 days. Oh, Maybe shit. Maybe I put the code in her phone as a reminder, and somehow it was hacked. No. No, I I wouldn't let us write it down after a home invasion six years ago. Oh. Uh, okay. I was sitting here like, that's so, like, Your extreme. Your just changed when we mentioned her phone. Why? Cheating? That never belongs to a disposable cell phone. How much correspondence did Emma have with that number? A lot. Like hundreds, a lot. All from the last couple of weeks. Damn. Texts, voice calls. And even though Vernon was uptight about home defense, let's call the security company and check out the alarm records. Check it out. Hey, Jessica. Connie, Melissa, I am tired. Yeah, no, you're such a tyrant. Connie Rose, I am sick and tired. Hey, family. Dad! Daddy! Hey, sweets. Oh, Daddy. hey, everybody. Oh, right, uh, that's right. just. That's what's on the table. Let's go. That's just. Mm. Cartilage around the windpipe was damaged, but COD was actually a crushed trachea. Dude has a wife and kids. Also, each victim has a at least three around their wrists from the bindings. The anti-mortem bruising on the neck means he's strangled and released repeatedly. He was toying with them. To understand with them is more important than the kill. Well, do you think the strangulation is just the dispatching method? Then? No, go on. Yeah, this is really all about erotic asphyxiation. I mean, it's like never around anymore. Yeah, it's tough on me too. Well, then I was thinking that maybe night we could like watch the Badgers game. Six hours is a long time, especially when it's late and quiet for someone to be held and no one to hear anything. Cell records tell us they communicated a lot in the weeks leading up to the murders. What if the victims didn't know they were in trouble? Really? Well, okay, um, I have a black lab. Ah, I love dogs. When I was a kid, we always had retrievers. <laughs> um, I, I have an early morning. I should get to bed. Well, maybe we can talk again tomorrow. I really like that. Good night. No, he gains their trust. And with Emma's husband out of town... Looks like the alarm wasn't on that night. Vernon said he made sure that Emma always said it, especially when he was out of town. Well, she did, except for last night. And the one night she doesn't, she ends up dead? That's weird. talk I had last episode. Perfect for this. This is exactly what I made. You want this guy to, to live in a cell? I think she knew the answer was coming. It took you so long. What? Yeah, dating sites like Ashley Madison suggest married people are more likely to cheat with other married people. Mutually assured destruction. Man. One party is less likely to confess if they know that it could hurt them too. The bindings, the silk scarf, the rough sex. He's using bare reflections to choose his victims. 
I'm all yours, give it to me. Wait, sir, I meant that in the how can I help you way, not in the, because you're super lovely and I'm on speaker, aren't I? Garcia, what can you tell us about the romance novel, Bare Reflections? I can, I can tell you, it's very popular. Uh, let me see, typing and checking and typing and... Oh, my personal favorite is a baby onesie that says nine months ago, my mom read Bare Reflections, which is super creepy and really <laughs> cute. Clearly, I'm in the wrong genre. Hey, a lot of the saucy texts are direct quotes from the book. Oh, speaking of texts, I called from them that he met Mary via message board, Donna at a coffee shop, and I... This has provided the unsub with a victim for who had dropped their guard. His first victims were single, but his last two were married. This escalation indicates that he may be married himself and probably has a family. So, damn. Meg, you deserve whatever reaction, but hurting yourself? It's not okay. But grounding me for a month on top of taking my phone away is okay? Since when did this house turn into some sort of a gulag? Welcome to the gulag. I know that this is a huge adjustment. <laughs> do you? Yeah, of course I do. And it's taken us all by surprise, but... But I also know that you are the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, and you are going to be an amazing big sister. An addition to our family is not a replacement, okay? I have to go. Meg? Girl? Tell Stacy I left my copy of Bare Reflections on the kitchen counter for her. Damn it. A little sad, too. I mean, you guys have treated me like family. No, I really appreciate all the extra time lately. No problem. I really like it. Great. It's nice to be part of something. Oh, God. This guy needs help. Well, help can't help him. It's great. The girls have two strong female role models. I'm sorry, but I've never seen them. Well, what type of women do you see most? High-powered professionals. After barking orders all day, they need a submissive outlet. And how has Bear Reflections influenced the scene? By completely ruining it. Interest in the bunch I host has gone up. Because despite its popular image as dark and orgiastic, BDSM play has complex rituals, roles, and dynamics that frame the experience. Am I right? Yes. We feel the key ingredients of good BDSM play, communication, respect, trust, result in the same connection to body and self found in positive traditional sex. So the end result is like yoga, sort of. Has anyone come in wanting to discuss breath play? No. What? I dabbled my senior year. Ah, uh, college. Ah, uh, high school. Oh, oh my. It should have been a haven for the unsub's recruitment, but it wasn't. God. How the hell did you get... Prostitutes both strangled with nylon rope, turned up eight and fifteen years ago, one in Iowa City, the other in rural Illinois. I mean, new crossing state lines would make it more difficult to link the crimes. You could keep losing jobs. Kids. These are sex crimes, so what interferes with sex drive? Children. The addition of a child would disrupt even the happiest of couples. More specifically, the births. What if each of these kills corresponds to the births of the unsub's own children? Garcia, how many men in the hunting zone had a child in 2000? I forgot my calculus book at Charles the other night. I need it to finish my homework for Monday. Mm -hmm. God, 
Mom, do you ever miss me? I'm slicing through hospital records in 2000. 16 area men, Caucasian in that age range, had their first child. And because I know what the follow-up question is going to be, five of them had their second child eight years ago. Damn. And again, last The odds of that. Mm, two lucky fellas. Were either one of them busted for the odds. Like, our exposure? The therapy roller coaster may have been due to intermittent periods of frustration and then bliss surrounding the murders. And his urges increased during periods of non intimacy. If the NSUB's trigger was the birth of his kids, why change the victimology and accelerate the kills now? I think the guilt he's felt has been alleviated by bare reflections and the intense female interest in it has justified his impulses. Garcia, we need addresses. Of course, I just have to. Oh boy. She is gonna. Oh my, she's gonna FBI! So Stacy Murphy, where's your husband? <laughs> is your inner tigress worried or is she ready for you to be free? Did you just quote that lame ass bare reflections? Admit it. Oh god. That book got you all worked up. I know it did. I think you should go. For the sake of Stacy and the girls, I'll pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> What is Charlotte? Mrs. Murphy, we need her address. Patrick could be. Oh, God. Children are like wet cement. 
Whatever falls on them makes an impression. <laughs> no. <laughs> Time for that. I feel that they have done such a great job with all of the extra, you know, uh, or new characters. It will always and it will forever be Reed, Morgan, Penelope, uh, Hotch, JJ, uh, Rossi, and Prentice. Always. Always be the OG squad. Forever and ever. Gideon is right there with him. He's the, not the OG squad, but he's like the, he, he's, he's, okay, he might as well be the OG squad. <laughs> and then you got Blake, um, man, what is the, Seaver, right? Seaver, Callahan, love them, love all of them. All of those I love so much, they're amazing, love them all. I think the only one I don't like, and there was one that was here very, very briefly and she left, right? I don't remember her name. Uh, and then there was one from season one. Wasn't really a fan of her. I think she's like the only one I did not really like. So, I mean, <laughs> not bad. Uh, why did that just pop up? What the fuck is going on? Anyways, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We're inching closer to the end of season 10 already, which is crazy. See y'all next time.